Well, guys, South Texas College looking cloudy as well. We're going to see those all across the valley until we get to later this afternoon. Hopefully some breaks in the cloud will lead way to partly cloudy skies instead of mostly cloudy overcast skies. We're going to be in the low to mid 90s this afternoon, uh, just like almost every single day this week. Coastal areas sticking to the upper 70s, low 80s, but you know those feels like temperatures going to put us in the 100s. If you can escape to the island, it'll feel a little nicer out there. 79 for the high. UV index very high, rip current risk still at a moderate level, so I can't recommend getting in the water quite yet. Hopefully we'll see that lowered heading into this weekend. Also, if you haven't heard yet. We've been having some poor air quality issues this week thanks to smoke that's to our south filtering into the valley. Right now we're in that unhealthy range. What this means is that especially those with respiratory issues or allergy problems, especially things like asthma, might want to spend less time outside today. Even if you don't usually suffer from these problems, you may notice a little tickle in your throat or allergy-like symptoms. This could very well be from that smoke and we're going to be battling that at least for the next couple of days. Finally, tonight we are monitoring a severe weather threat. It's going to be that marginal risk for Star County. The rest of us are in that general thunderstorms category. This just means that we could see an isolated, strong, too severe storm, mainly for the upper valley. Take note that, again, it's going to be our friends to the north that are going to be seeing those higher Threat. So we'll be on the lookout tonight for the chance for some storms, mainly between 7 p.m. and midnight. So for this afternoon, the best rain chances are going to be in the form of a couple of little sprinkles and drizzles that you might run across along with that cloud cover. Then around 7 p.m., you'll notice the upper valley starts to see the potential for some rain. Again, storms are possible tonight, but I'm hoping that by the time we get to midnight, it'll wrap for all of us, including the lower valley there. Temperatures, though, only going to drop to the 70s. So if you wake up early on Saturday, we'll be in the mid to upper 70s and of course that humidity will still be hanging out Saturday afternoon back up into the low to mid 90s. So this weekend is going to be warm, but it is going to provide some great weather for any weekend plans, including Mixlon. We're going to be in the low 90s, and hopefully we're going to see clearing going into Saturday and Sunday. Today and then tonight is the only chance that we're going to have for any sort of stray showers. Again, that 20% chance for showers and thunderstorms between around 7 p.m. and midnight. Otherwise, the, ne otherwise the next few days are just going to be hot and humid.